Welcome back to another Saturday demo. This time we're going to talk about router tables and how you can make yours even better. If you own a router table, you already know how it can enhance your joint making, template routing, and edge forming tasks. I don't have to convince you of that. But almost any router table can be improved with the right accessories so it's safer, more accurate, or just plain more enjoyable to use. In this video, I'd like to suggest five accessories worth adding to your router table. And the first one is a router lift, like this. It's got a plate on top that fits down into a recess in the tabletop. There's a carriage underneath that holds your router motor and a geared mechanism that moves the motor up and down using a wrench from on top of the table. Now maybe you have a much simpler setup in your router table that looks something like this. For many years, my router was just bolted to one of these aluminum plates and I used the router's base to change my bit heights. Now this is a super economical approach and it works okay, but it does have some drawbacks. With a plate system like this, if your router doesn't have through the base bit height adjustment, every time you want to change bit heights or change bits, you either have to lift the plate and the router out of the router table or reach around or crouch down and make the adjustments underneath the router table that way. And that's a hassle, particularly if crouching or bending over is hard for you. And here's why a router lift is better. Once you've got the motor installed on the lift and it's under the table, you can leave it there from then on. The lift raises the motor high enough so you can access the collet for changing bits right at working height. And its geared mechanism is engineered for precision. On Rockler's Pro Lift, for instance, each quarter turn of the wrench raises or lowers the router bit just 1 64th of an inch. And that's the high degree of precision you need to get joints to fit together properly. Now there's no denying that router lifts are expensive, but if you're serious about taking your router table to the next level of performance and convenience, this is the way to do it. Now on the flip side, this second accessory costs under $10 and you'll appreciate it if you've ever scraped a knuckle adjusting the knobs on your router table fence. Oftentimes these fence knobs are too short or too close to the fence body to really be able to get your fingers on them very easily. Well, Rockler has a solution in these new easy to grip fence knobs. They stand more than four inches tall, which is taller than most router table fences. So you can get your fingers all the way around these soft star-shaped knobs and your knuckles never even touch the fence. My third suggestion for an accessory is a safety on off switch like this. You plug your router into one end and the switch is plugged into the wall. I really like being able to turn my router on or off at tabletop height instead of having to reach all the way underneath. And let's hope this never happens, but this big paddle switch can help you shut your router down quickly by hand or even with a knee if there's ever an accident. So it helps you work more easily, but also more safely. My fourth suggestion for accessories also has to do with working safely. A pushing device of some sort, whether that's a push pad or a push stick and feather boards. Both of these groups will help keep your fingers out of harm's way, but they'll also help you better control your work pieces for more consistent and accurate routing. When you're choosing feather boards, buy a pair of them that can be mounted to either the fence or the miter slot. This way you can press work pieces up against the fence or down against the table or both depending on the circumstance. They'll help ensure that your bits can cut properly and they'll also keep your fingers safe when you're routing narrow work pieces. And finally, accessory number five. And this one has to do with bit setups. At times it's important to be able to measure bit height accurately or you may need to know the exact distance the fence is away from the bit. Well, this handy gauge from Rockler can help in both ways. It's basically a ruler that can be stood up on this offset foot. And it's got an adjustable stop on it with a clear beveled cursor along one edge. When you need to set bit height to say one inch, just slide the cursor over to one inch on the ruler and tighten the knob. Now stand the gauge up on its foot and raise the bit until it touches the bottom edge of the stop.
the bit height will be exactly one inch. And setting the fence an accurate distance from the bit is just as easy, thanks to these two curved notches in the stop. One is for half inch shank bits, and the other one is for quarter inch shank bits. Adjust the gauge for the distance you want the fence to be away from the center of the router bit, in this case two inches. Then lay the gauge down on the table and hook the stop around the bit's shank. Now slide the fence over until it rests against the gauge's foot. And now the fence is exactly two inches away from the center of the router bit. Easy. So whether it's for precision, workpiece control and safety, or just to make your router table a little bit easier and more enjoyable to use, these five types of products can help. Learn more about these and a variety of other routing products by visiting rockler.com or a Rockler store near you. I'm Chris Marshall with Woodworkers Journal Magazine and thanks for watching.